Hello everyone! It's time for another one of our magnificent and marvelous math lessons with Miss Antonia Bay. Let's get started. Our topic for today is Properties of Addition. Let's look at our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to State the three properties of addition. Define each property of addition. Identify the addition property used in various equations and create addition equations based on a particular property. Let's look at the word property. What is a property? Well, in math, a property is a characteristic that is applied to a given set. Today, we are focusing on addition properties. There are one, two, three properties of addition. What are these three properties that we'll be focusing on? Well, the three properties of addition are the commutative, associative, and identity property. Let's look at the commutative property. The commutative property, also known as the order property. This property tells us that the order in which numbers are added does not change the sum. Let's look at this example. 23 plus 5 is equal to 28. The commutative property tells us that no matter the order in which we place the addends, the sum is still going to be the same. That means that 23 plus 5 is the same as saying 5 plus 23. Try this. Look at this example. 15 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 25. Can you create another equation using the given numbers to display the commutative property rule? Well, if you said 6 plus 15 plus 4 is equal to 25 or 4 plus 6 plus 15 is equal to 25, then you are correct. Remember, the commutative property tells us that no matter the order of the addends, the sum is still the same. Let's look at this example. 100 plus 67 plus 31 is equal to 198. Can you think of another equation using the given numbers to display the commutative property rule? Well, if you said 31 plus 100 plus 67 is equal to 198, or 67 plus 31 plus 100 is equal to 198, then you are correct. Good job, guys. Remember, commutative means order. No matter the order of the addends, the sum is still the same. Let's move on to the associative property. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Think of the word associate. To associate means to gather or group. That's why the nickname for this property is the group property. In the associative property, the way in which the numbers are grouped does not change the sum. Let's look at this example. 17 plus 25 plus 5 is equal to 47. If we group the add ends 17 plus 25, we get 42 plus 25, which is also equal to 47. Let's look at this. 
if we take the same equation and group two different atoms, we should come up to the same sum. In this second equation, we grouped 25 plus 5. That gave us the sum of 30. 17 plus 30 is equal to 47. Remember, no matter the way in which we group the atoms, the sum is still the same. Let's look at this. Here, we grouped 100 plus 57, and we want to add that to 21 to give us the sum 178. Can you think of another equation using those given numbers to display the associative property rule? Remember, associative means group. If you said to group 57 plus 21, you are correct. If we group 57 plus 21, that gives us the sum of 78. When we add that to the 100, it gives us a total sum of 178. Good job, guys! Let's look at this next equation. 700 plus 500 plus 200 equals 1,400. In this equation, we grouped 500 plus 200. Can you think of another equation using the given numbers to display the associative property rule? Remember, associative means to group. If you said to group 700 plus 500, you are correct. When we do that, that gives us a total of 1,200. When we add that to the 200, it gives us the overall total of 1,400. Remember, associative means to group. You're doing Excellent job, guys. Let's look at the next property, the identity property. Hmm, this one sounds interesting. The identity property, also known as the zero property, says that the sum of any number and zero is that number. Let's look at an example. Here, 18 plus 0 is equal to 18. The identity property tells us that any number plus 18 is equal to that number. So 18 plus 0 is equal to 18, and 0 plus 18 is also equal to 18. Let's look at some of these. Try this. 4,670 plus 0 is equal to 4,670. Can you create another equation using the given numbers to display the identity property rule? Hmm. Well, if you said 0 plus 4,670 is equal to 4,670, you are correct. Awesome job. Try this one. 0 plus 21,560 is equal to 21,560. Can you think of another equation using the given numbers to display the identity property rule? Remember, the identity property tells us that any number plus zero is that number. If you said 21,560 plus zero is equal to 21,560, you are correct. You're getting the hang of this thing. Now it's activity time. It's time to name that property. 
I'm going to show you an equation. And based on the equation, you need to name that property. Is it going to be the identity property? Is it going to be the associative property? Or is it going to be the commutative property? Which property is identified in this equation? Let's take a look. Name that property. If you said the associative or group property, you are correct. Let's look at this. Name that property. If you said the identity or zero property, you are absolutely correct. Name that property. If you said the commutative or order property, you are correct again. Awesome job, sixth graders. You're doing marvelous. I think you've got this. Let's review our addition properties. There are three properties of addition that we focused on today. The first one being the commutative property. The commutative property says that the order in which numbers are added does not change the sum. The associative property says that the way in which the numbers are grouped does not change the sum. And the identity property says that the sum of any number and zero is that number. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why is all of this important? Well, it is important because the properties of addition make it easier to solve mathematics sums. So addition properties make our mathematics life much, much easier. I hope you remember the addition properties that we discussed today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.